Welcome back to Studio Chatter. If you haven't noticed the new big building complex in Canyon Creek, that would be the new Spanish Fork Hospital. And to give us all the details is Megan Johnson, the nurse administrator at the hospital. Welcome, Megan. Thank you. Hi, Megan. Hello, thank wow. Thank you for having me. This is so exciting. What a big job. It has been huge. <laughs> that sounds huge. Nurse and administrator, right? <laughs> it, yes. It, there's a lot going into it, uh, a lot more than I would have ever anticipated. Well, I thank can, you for being here yes. right now during your busiest time of life ever, probably. Right? Yes. And then we invite you to be on Studio yes, Chatter. We're getting I'm it all honored. done. <laughs> I'm honored. As a Spanish Fork resident, I am truly honored to be here. Well, this tell is great. us a little bit about about you, Megan, before we dive into your job in the hospital. Yeah, so um, I have lived in Spanish Fork for about 11 years now. I'm married, I have two boys. Um, love this community. Um, been with Intermountain for about 19 years. Wow, wow. And um, started started in housekeeping. And no way. Really? Yes, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I love that Intermountain really has been able to provide that path. Um, if you have the dedication, the determination, they'll provide the resources. So I started in housekeeping um, mm -hmm. and through those 19 years, I've worked my way up uh, to be the nurse administrator for Spanish wow. Fork Hospital. Um, and just just really excited about that. I, I, I love nursing, I love patient care, I love the interaction with the community. Uh, my background is emergency medicine. Oh wow. And so I just I get that I get that adrenaline rush. I okay. love it. How many nurses do you have coming in to the new hospital? So we've got about 130 clinical staff, wow. um, and that includes nurses and techs. Okay. okay. That will that will start with us on, on opening day. So when we say nurse administrator, are you just over the nurses or what does your job all entail? So I look over anything that's clinical. So nurses, techs, um, anything that's coming down from corporate as far as policies, procedures, changes, okay. that's what I oversee. I make sure that our frontline caregivers have that information. So if something changes, they know they have the process, we can work through patient flows to, um, mm -hmm. to keep our patients safe. And that's really what we're looking to do. So I over oversee all of that to make sure that they have all of that information. If we change things um, from a facility level, I make sure that the managers have that information so that the frontline caregivers oh, have okay. that information. That's a big That's responsibility a big job, yeah. with 130. <laughs> yes, it is. It's so exciting though. I love it. We, awesome. we have a great staff. We've really tried hard to bring that um, culture uh -huh. into what we're building for Spanish Fork Hospital. Okay. So how long has a project been coming? So this project really is about 10 to 15 years in the making. Intermountain Healthcare started talking about this quite a while ago. Um, we broke ground, I wanna say about three years ago. Um, and just building that hospital, making sure that we are growing with the community. Mm -hmm. and, and really when you look at it, the community continues to go. And, and this project, if you think about it, was 10 to 15 years in the making. So it's kind of had to, to grow with the um, the growth in the community, and then we're also trying to plan for future growth. I like thinking back on in the past when I first heard it. Do you guys remember yes, the food we're for less building? Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. going to be where the food for less totally. building. Yes. So everybody knew that, and then you guys switched land. So now you actually have a lot more land to expand on. Yes. So the, the Spanish Fork City came to us, and, and really that that food for less area mm -hmm. right off highway six um, you know it it could be a popular area and when they were working with spanish fork city they thought you know we have this land in the back um, it provides you for more opportunity to growth. So we, we sit on almost 50 acres. And so growth, we, w it's limitless. It well, is. And, and with how Spanish do. Fork is growing, I think that was so wise. Yeah, and, and not just Spanish Fork, um, our you know, surrounding Springville and um, Mapleton, Santa Quinn, Payson, mm -hmm. I mean, just the, the, the growth south um, is, yeah, it's limitless amazing. right now. Yes, right? it is. Yeah, very so true. So the you're into training. The flyers are coming. What what is the what is the date? What's the opening date? So we open April fifth, and we will open our doors at six a.m. Um, we're really excited. A lot of our nurses, our staff, will start coming in at five a.m. I'm sure a lot of us will be there sooner. We're just excited for this. Wow. Um, so April fifth at six a.m. and um, you know, it, it's funny, we've talked, we've talked about this for a while, and 
I, I think we're all excited. Um, I think our opening will be a little anticlimactic. <laughs> I wonder that, like, are there patients, like, at the so, door, like, Walmart so to open open? It, it will, it'll be interesting to see, really, what actually happens. Um, Do you have things scheduled? Surgeries, right. so, mammograms, colonoscopies, like, are, are, is anything on the books for April? Yeah, so we've okay. actually opened up our surgery schedule, our endoscopy schedule, um, radiology, wow. Uh, they've okay. started scheduling. We've got a full day for our CT scanner already on April 5th. Really excited about that. Awesome. Um, surgery schedules, they're coming in. I think we've got six endoscopy procedures scheduled for that day. Wow. Um, the lab um, emergency department, you know, they can just walk right in and, and we'll be open for You'll business. Be going. Yeah. Wow. On my tour last week, we I don't know if you were, you were in the room when we got to work on a little orange. So yes. we were in the OR mm -hmm. and we got this, what was it? The uh, cautery. Cautery and uh -huh. it like sl sliced open the orange and then we cauterized it. Like that was really cool. <laughs> yeah, lots of cool things. When you talk about um, evidence-based practice and the, the top of the line um, equipment, um, we've really brought this to Spanish Fork. So we're, we're really excited for what this will bring to the community. Oh, I was going to say, what are you most excited about within the hospital or what's going to happen there? Or maybe what you're more nervous about, like that first day? Um, you know, I, I think my excitement builds from the culture that we have worked so hard to, to bring on right up front. Um, Francis Gibson, the um, administrator for the hospital, I think he's been on the show before. Um, but he, one thing that we've really wanted to, to look at is we have one chance to set the right culture. Otherwise, we will spend our entire careers trying to fix what we the, the expectations mm -hmm. we didn't set up front. And so our caregivers, we we wanted them to be excited. We wanted top notch. We didn't want caregivers to want to be here to come to Spanish Fork Hospital just because they live in this zip code. Um, mm. they, they are truly invested in what we do in patient satisfaction, in um, the evidence-based mm -hmm. practices, and, and we've done that. And when you walk through the doors of Spanish Fork Hospital, you can feel it. Um, so cool. it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, even though you're nervous to be there or it's not the best situation, you can feel that culture um, from every single caregiver, every, every experience encounter with our caregivers. Um, it's just different. What about the size of the facility? So is it big, small, how, how, did, how did size come into factor with, with the size of the community? Yeah, so we, we looked at the size of, of Spanish Fork and, and it's planned for growth. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you look at the size, I don't know, it, we're a little bit bigger than like Orem Community Hospital, but a little bit smaller than American Fork. And really over the next 10 to 15 years, we have the capability to be about the same size as American Fork Hospital. Okay. Um, when we talk about growth and when they were looking at the plans and the growth for Spanish Fork Hospital, those plans are already set in. Um, so there's the ability to add in extra labor and delivery postpartum rooms. Um, mm -hmm. There's already a shelled in space for our level two nursery. So if we hit 2000 deliveries a year, we can start working on building out that level two nursery, keep some of those sicker babies on site instead of having to transfer them to another facility. Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, our, our OR um, floor, on the second floor, there's two Sheldon spaces for additional OR suites. So we'll open with four and the ability to grow into two. Um, so really when you're looking at the growth, they've already planned for that. Um, we just need the community to come in and support mm -hmm. us and mm -hmm. um, love the culture that we've built and, and really make this their hospital. Oh, I, I, I love will. the foresight you guys have yeah. had. So let's talk about like the number of beds mm -hmm. versus the number of services. Yes. So Spanish Fork Hospital is it's 33 inpatient beds. Um, that okay. includes our women's services and medical med surge um, okay. services. So on our third and fourth floors. Um, but really, when you talk about services, it's 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 almost endless, right? Um, 
we want to be able to provide 80% of the services that, that our community needs, knowing that the other 20% have Utah Valley, you know, just okay. 15 minutes up the road, 20 minutes up the road, um, that, and they do some of those services every day, uh, and they're limitless. So when you talk about strokes, when you talk about um, heart attacks, cath labs, um, dialysis, those things are all available at Utah Valley. We didn't want to try and mimic them because they are more specialized. Gotcha. And so so really what we want to do is provide 80% of those services here in our community. So we talk about the emergency department, we talk about imaging in the lab, um, we talk about OR, you know, kind of same day surgery procedures, maybe they need 24, 48 hour observation uh, on med surge. Um, Endoscopy, it's huge, you know, um, trying to get the population to understand the importance of colonoscopies. Mm -hmm. We've got labor and delivery, postpartum, lactation services um, for moms that might be struggling within the community. They can schedule an appointment and still come to the hospital and have that support right there. Um, and then our medical surgical, and then we've got outpatient IV therapy. Awesome. Wow. wow. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of education. Yes. Like on your end. I mean, yes. You're not over that, right? I mean, you're over the nurses. So someone's just going to be over education of like South Valley. Let's yes. Let the community know what we offer here. Yeah. So we've got an amazing team of educators. Um, each of our clinical areas have an educator okay. that's required or that, that is responsible for educating our nurses. Um, and and then really working with the community okay. as far as education goes. Um, I have been working with um, you know, community leaders of what are our gaps, what are our concerns within the community, what things can, that, that can we help with. Um, we have five education classrooms on site at the hospital that during the day, during the week, we'll use for meetings, for training and stuff like that. Okay. But really after hours, how can we provide this to the community? Whether we're teaching about um, diabetes or mental health issues, um, you know, we really want to be able to provide support to our LGBTQ plus community. Um, that's South County, because uh, there aren't a lot of resources down here. So being able to provide that support to the community is also very important to us. It's really thinking outside okay. the box on all that. I can't wait to hear more. <laughs> yes, that's a great place to pause. Let's take a quick break and continue this conversation in just a moment.